Welcome back to Newslink. Now, the Gauteng Roads Department has launched a cleanup program. It includes grass cutting, tree felling, vegetation control, and litter picking. It will run for three years, and it's expected uh, to create jobs as well. So the program began on the R21 between OR Tambo International Airport and Gululi's Interchange. To tell us more, we've got the MEC himself, uh, Mr. Jacob Mamabolo, to talk us through that launch and the opportunities it creates uh, for the yeah. province. Thank you very much for your time uh, this morning, uh, MEC. Maybe talk us through the success of the launch of the program this weekend. It's something you started yesterday and this morning as well. Well, uh, firstly, good morning to you, to all the viewers. And let me thank you for inviting us. Uh, just to confirm that, yes, indeed, uh, the program that we are uh, we launched the, yesterday and is continuing today is part of our Smart Mobility Weekends where to deal with the problems that we have had during lockdowns, backlogs in road maintenance have accumulated. So we work Saturday, Sundays to make sure that uh, we can catch up with the massive difficulties that we have had. So the purpose of this program is to improve road safety. Mm. <clears throat> so we know that um, vegetation, the trees that grows encroaches on the road, the grass, if that is not taken care of, it impairs visibility on the road. Our statistics indicate that um, pedestrians are the ones that um, you know, have the highest number of casualties when it comes to fatalities. Mm. So when we talk to experts and when we listen to communities, including public representatives, the, the point is very clear that if visibility on the road mm. is not at an adequate level, then it risks lives of people. So that is why we had to make sure that um, you know, we, we launched this program, invest in road safety to save human life. And to that extent, we're very much pleased. Job creation, we have seen companies owned by young women. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a company of a person with disability. Uh, the workforce itself, young women, uh, youth, and we're very much excited about the household impact of that with respect to revenue inflows into households, and that will be great uh, for the people. No, absolutely. Another <clears throat> important thing to consider here, MEC, this program also not only predict, protects uh, pedestrians from motorists, but motorists as well from criminals who would usually hide behind this grass that has been allowed to grow for months on end. So increased safety for everybody using our roads is, that this, uh, is something that this program is obviously going to have to contribute to as well. So the community safety, um, as the custodian of our safety, and of course residents themselves, have been calling us mm -hmm. that this grass and vegetation, the trees, are actually hideouts mm. for criminals. Um, the, you know, along the road you see um, office park, uh, manufacturing sites, industrial sites, they are also complaining that security companies that when they chase these people, they easily get into this and it's difficult to, to chase them. Mm. So it is both a road safety campaign, job creation, empowerment, but also most importantly, um, uh, safety and of course, uh, because where there's, a, there's no visibility, you know, it's like dark spots. You can even imagine now with poor lights, uh, load shedding, uh, potholes on the road. So all these things together, bad road markings, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, traffic signals that are not working. So a totality of this factor, uh, of these factors is very important for us to make sure that we don't just build new roads, mm. but we also take care of, maintain, yes. and improve more, uh, road user experience on the road. And that also makes our country look very good. Because if you have got potholes, high grass on the road, uh, trees uh, encroaching on the road. It just looks extremely bad, even for our investors. You can imagine the OR Tambo precinct between the airport and the Gululis interchange that we know is one of the biggest. Mm. And, if, and, and, and if that road, uh, Alpetina Sulu Highway, is not taken care of, it just reflects badly mm. on us as a country. No, absolutely. Let's talk about those potholes because it is part of uh, your smart mobility weekends. How are we doing in terms of patching um, those up? Um, and also partnerships, MEC, because the department cannot do everything on its own. How are we doing with potholes um, and, and the partnerships that you are trying to create to make sure that we are maintaining the roads as best as we can? So the smart mobility weekend is precisely that partnership with municipalities. Mm. 
Because uh, remember that when people move on the road, it doesn't matter whether they are on a national, provincial, people want a, smooth, a, a, a seamless journey. Yes. So <clears throat> the Smart Mobility Weekends is going on very well in the sense that we have solidified partnerships with municipalities who are working during weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. And the other important thing is I'm really delighted and I must commend the leadership of the city of Joburg for the example they've set with respect to partnerships with the private sector. And I think the rest of the municipalities, even ourselves as the provincial government, I think we should learn from the city of Joburg that, yes, indeed, and you can imagine with um, you know, the difficulties around the fiscals, uh, low revenue coming from the taxes. So all those point out that with the limited resources that we have that have been cut daily in the delivery of roads, in the expansion of rail, in maintenance of roads, all that, private, public partnerships are critical. Mm. And that is why um, also the use of technology. Mm. Uh, you know, we will be soon um, working with CSIR. We are on the verge of um, unveiling a, an app for the whole province in which people will participate in saying to us, here are our pressure points, because currently we rely on councillors, while that is good, but we need massive participation for people to say, we have got difficulties here on the road, because we know the road is the backbone, it carries every movement, mm. whether of goods, of people, social activity, um, you know, leisure. So we need the people to say, it's here, and then we will be able to go to the back and say, it's a municipal road, it's a national road, provincial road, but we should together as three spheres of government deal with that and give feedback. So we're also looking at introducing technologies, but that's far. The partnership is working very well. And I can also disclose to you that um, we are also finalizing procurement of the private sector skills. Mm -hmm. uh, we have very difficulties with the supply chain process. We have firm it up, it's now coming okay. So we are also, just like we unveiled 17 companies uh, yesterday, we will be <coughs> announcing no less than 30 companies that are going to strengthen our capacity to fix the roads. So it's also part of, that, of those partnerships. No, definitely looking forward to it. Many uh, viewers of the channel are anticipating smooth roads at uh, MEC. The potholes are quite a big problem. So we look forward to the rollout of this program um, and good luck. And I understand that it's creating about 1,000 jobs. Uh, so that is With an investment of well. uh, half a billion, 500 million yeah, over no, three years. Absolutely important. Thank you very much, MEC, for joining Thanks us for this morning. Thanks for inviting us, and thank you very thank much. Thank you. That is uh, Gauteng MEC for Roads and Transport, uh, Jacob Mamabulo, talking to us about the program that's just launched around making sure that the roads we use in the province are safe for everybody.